name is Clint Nichols. I'm a test pilot for scaled composites. I fly this Proteus airplane. The Proteus aircraft first flew in 1998. It was originally developed for a telecommunications mission where it would fly over Los Angeles and beam internet uh, signals up and down. Uh, that business model didn't quite work out with the advent of uh, fiber optics. So now we use it as a research aircraft. It carries all sorts of payloads and does all sorts of missions. It's been all over the world. What makes this aircraft unique is uh, obviously the kind of interesting configuration when it's got a, a wing in the back and a canard in the front. And then as you can see, there's a pylon hanging down from the center where we can attach all sorts of pods and payloads and things. Flying Proteus, it's, uh, it is a little bit interesting, especially at altitude. Flying up high above 50,000 feet, it's just a fantastic view. Uh, I remember one day I, uh, we were over California and I could look one way, I could see Flagstaff, I could see San Diego, I could see the San Joaquin, I could see the Sierra Nevada, St. George, Utah. It's just fabulous to be up at you know, 55,000 feet looking in all directions. Uh, flying it, it's pretty straightforward for the most part, except for it doesn't have any drag devices, no flaps, no speed brakes, uh, nothing like that. Uh, the landing gear does add some drag, but otherwise, it's, uh, sometimes it's a hard airplane to get down, actually. It's nice in uh, pitch, it's a little bit heavy uh, on the roll forces. Um, otherwise, pretty much a conventional airplane in a lot of ways. Proteus uh, routinely operates above 50,000 feet. The highest it's ever flown is 63,000 feet. It's an airplane with, uh, it's got two Williams FJ44-2A engines, putting out 2,300 pounds thrust each. It's a wingspan of just short of 80 feet, a gross weight of around 12,500 pounds. I think the airplanes had a good reception at AirVenture. Uh, we flew in for the air show on Monday, and uh, I think a lot of people thought, well, what, what is that thing? No one's ever seen it before. Of course, it looks like a cross between a, an alien spaceship and a praying mantis, so it does get a little bit of attention and looks a little bit different when it flies. Uh, when it takes off, it definitely looks a lot different. It looks, it doesn't go and, and rotate and fly away like a normal airplane. It, it goes and, and then it kind of levitates off the ground. It looks really different when it takes off. After AirVenture, this aircraft will go right back to work. This airplane is always very busy with all sorts of different payloads. We'll put, uh, we'll go home, we'll put a, a pod on the bottom, we'll carry some uh, equipment and do some work, uh, go some places uh, for, for a time and then uh, come back and uh, back to the home base in Mojave. Take that payload off, put another one on, integrate that, get that working, go out and test it and the cycle will continue. It's always a busy airplane doing a lot of different things, going a lot of different places. The craft is the peak altitude is 63,786 feet. The only hold on is 61,990 feet.